Hey guys, CB Super. I made a new tool. It's called this CB Night Vision tool. It takes regular footage and it converts it to a night vision look. You can pick up a free copy for yourself over at cbsuper.com. Head on down to CB Fusion Tools. It'll be the one called Night Vision. Also, I have a bunch of tools if you're interested. They're all absolutely free. If you do want to support the channel, you can always donate or buy me a coffee if you like. But again, that's not necessary in order to pick up any of the tools. They are absolutely free. Once you've clicked on the night vision picture, it's going to automatically download to your computer. You'll have a dot settings file. Just drop that in your macro folder and you should be good to go. If you're interested, you could head over to the new R&D section where I have a blog post talking a little bit about the night vision tool. Again, you can just download it here by clicking on this link right here. And it also shows you kind of what it does. It takes regular footage and it converts it over to a night vision look. You have a couple different overlays like scopes and binoculars and whatnot that you can also use. And it has a few distressors to make it look a little bit more like the night vision grain that you may have seen in movies or video games. And if you scroll all the way down here, you can actually find the night vision comp file that I created right before I turned it into a macro. So you can come in here and you can actually see how I make some of my macro tools. You can also use this to customize your own tool. If you click on any one of these groups, you can also expand those groups and you'll see how I created all the overlays and how I created the reticles for the tool. So once you've downloaded it and you've added it to your macro folder, using the tool is actually quite easy. So here we have some daylight shot footage. You can see it's starting to get a little bit darker, but the key to using this tool is not to use footage that was shot at night. Once you have whatever shot you want that's already evenly lit, go ahead and jump over to the Fusion page with your media selected. CBN will give you the CB night vision tool. Hit enter. It'll drop the tool right after your media in node. So right away, we noticed that there are some lines. It is a little bit distressed and there's some grain added, but it's changed it to that green night vision look. You have full control over the gain, lift, gamma, and brightness. So you can change the shot to look the way that you want it to look. If you want it to be a little bit darker, you can go ahead and you can start dropping some of these down. You can maybe keep the gamma up just a little bit to increase the brightness in the colors. You can either drop the brightness down to give it a little bit more like a darker night vision look. You'll also notice that you have options for green and white here up on the top right. That just changes it from green phosphorus to white phosphorus, which is quite common in, say, video games or movies where the newer white phosphorus is starting to be used. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on green, and I'm also going to add maybe some lines in it. You'll notice that it just adds some subtle lines using a TV node. You can also up the grain, and this grain is automatically animated. So if you press play, you'll notice that the grain will dance around. If you don't want any grain, you can just go ahead and turn the grain power all the way down. I usually leave it at least at the default settings. The next group of tools is simply a series of different overlays that you can use. So you have a traditional scope look, or you can also use a typical binocular look. There's a modern bino look, which gives you kind of like that more futuristic bino look. And there's the quad tube pano look if you want it to be like more of a special forces type look. Let's just leave it on scope for now and you'll notice that there is also another series of tools down here that will adjust the look of the overlay so you can control the size you can make it smaller you can make it bigger you can increase this size if you need one thing to note is if you look at the edges here you have this digital pattern look you can also give it some more soft edge and now you get a really cool digital look that only extends the length of the soft edge because this is what older night vision really used to look like you'll notice that it was very pixel related. So I created three different reticles. Now you can use it with any of the overlays if you want. There's just three reticles and each one of these reticles was created using vectors. So of course, if you want, you can actually go in there and you can steal the vectors and you can apply it to other projects using the comp file. So here's the first reticle is just a typical sniper rifle reticle. And then there is a standard like rifle or weapon mounted reticle for any kind of scope. And then you have like a red dot EOTech type of reticle. 
reticle here. Now, the neat thing about this is that you can actually move the reticle around. Now, it might not make sense to do that inside of this scope, but you could have it track on these guys. You, you could get rid of the scope and you could just have a night vision that is being tracked along with wherever the helicopter is or wherever these guys are. You can also change the size of the reticle. If it's too big, you can make it smaller or you can make it much larger. Really, the options are pretty much endless when it comes to just moving and using these reticles. You can mix and match some of these. If I get rid of this reticle, let's say I add in this reticle here and then I give a modern bino look. And now you can just move this over here to increase the size a little bit. And it's as if it gives you kind of like a little heads up display. All right, so that's pretty much it for the tool. It's really easy to use and it's not like a super heavy tool. So you can use it with most footages. It will take a little bit to cache out or render out, but you'll notice that it will move along fine and it shouldn't slow you down too much. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.